Hi, my name is Dean Piazza from homegymequipment.com.au. Today I'm going to take you through this short video on what to look for when choosing the best treadmill for you. Okay, so when you're looking at a treadmill, some good features to look for, basically starting here, is cup holders. This allow you to put your water bottle in the hole, allow you to drink. If you didn't have those, what happens, you're halfway on the treadmill, it gives you an excuse to stop and get off and you don't get back on again. So keep hydrated, put a water bottle here, makes it really easy and it makes sense and it's a good functional simple tool that you need on your treadmill. Okay, let's look at another tool here that's really good is automatic speed keys on a treadmill. Like here, you can just hit three, six or nine. So you don't have to hold the speed key here and keep it down for a minute while it gets to a speed of nine. So they're really handy. This one also has automatic spunk speed incline key. So you just hit three, six or nine, it'll go straight to that, that incline. So it saves you time and it's really it's really handy feature. Another feature you should look for is your safety key here. If you've got kids around the house, take that off, your treadmill won't go. Doesn't matter what they buttons they press. Also, with the safety key, you just attach it to your shirt or your shorts, like such. Just to attach it there. If that comes off, if you slip or anything, anything dangerous, that will pull off the safety key, and the the the, the treadmill will automatically cut out. So that's a really handy safety, key, especially if you're not that's you don't feel safe on the treadmill, and that's a, an important safety feature. Another feature to look for is if you'd like there's an mp3 music player so you can plug your iphone in or mp3 and it'll play music for you so that's a handy little feature for some people who do like exercising with music okay another thing is uh, automatic speakers on the side handles and heart rate monitor on this function you can see both sides you can automatically hit the incline on the left side here incline will go up automatically hit the speed key on the right hand bar there and the speed will go up. So that way it's safer because you, you don't have to take your hands off the treadmill while you're using it. Next thing what you want to look for is the width and the length of the deck. So this model here is a medium sized treadmill. It's 42 centimeters wide and 140 long, 130 long sorry. So I'd class this as a medium sized treadmill. If, you, if you're moving up to a, a large size treadmill you'd be looking at 52 or 53 centimeters wide and 140 long it, it, with widths it's, like, it's a bit like buying a car some people prefer a smaller car some people prefer bigger other people comes down how much space you've got at home so have a think about it some people stand wider on their feet or they move around on the belt so just try one out and see what you prefer a small treadmill's under 40 centimeters wide and you'd be looking at 115 to 120 long Another, another feature that's really handy for most treadmills is, is folding it up. So you just simply fold it up like so, and it'll lock in. This one's on a hydraulic lift here, so there's no weight. You don't have to take any weight. So it's an important feature, hydraulic lift. So all you do is you just hit the, the lift, and it'll just go down on its own. So there's no strain on your back. So that's an important feature as well, hydraulic lift. Have a look at what size motor you like as well. This is a two horsepower continuous, so that's for an average size family. Something like that, if you had heavy users or you're, you're carrying a lot of weight, you want a heavier, bigger size motor. So you'd move up to a 2.5 or three horsepower. It's been Dean Piazza from homegymequipment.com.au.